dragon, the heart and armor and the heart of an American. Make our country great again. What's up guys, your boy Benny. Everybody is happy to take the credit when you're winning. It's easy to be chipper and to have a sunny outlook on life. It's when you're losing, when you start to see the cracks and you start to see the finger pointing, the blame, and people just start to break down like Joe Biden just moments ago at the White House, snapping when he's asked about Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, 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 oh man, this tells you so much. Watch that. Have you spoken with former President Trump at all? Are you kidding me? Mr. President Trump, former President Trump, get a life, man. Help these people. Will you hold him accountable? You said you were going to hold those accountable. I'm going to hold them accountable. You better in the press hold them accountable because you know the truth. <laughs> well, you, do you plan to speak with former President Trump? No. Whoa. Do you plan to speak to former President Trump? No! So, as we have documented on this channel, Donald Trump has done an enormous amount for the people who have lost everything in the state of Florida. He's put up a lineman in his hotel. It's a remarkable thing, a beautiful thing. As we have well documented, Donald Trump has put up hundreds of linemen, electricians, and uh, technicians in his hotels, his own property. This is foregoing uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of revenue. He's doing this at his own expense to save and help the people of Florida. So to say that Donald Trump's done nothing for the people of Florida is insane. President Trump, before, before Joe Biden did anything, President Trump released this video praying for the people of Florida. Donald Trump's a resident of Florida, you asshat. This is obviously an act of desperation because Joe Biden is seeing images like this. Hundreds of thousands of Americans in Joe Biden's home state of Scranton, Pennsylvania. Remember, Joe Biden's a, a scra Scranton scrapper, right? He's a son of Scranton. Joe Biden's home state of Pennsylvania showing up to see Donald Trump in Butler. Ooh, baby. They saw Elon Musk, the most powerful man, the richest man, arguably one of the most powerful men, if not the most powerful man in the world, uh, running the biggest companies that endorse full-throatedly Donald Trump. This is Elon Musk sharing this video. Incredible crowd at the rally in Pennsylvania, says Elon Musk. Ooh, baby. To 55 million people. Look at that crowd. They're getting scared, man. They're getting scared. Joe Biden's probably particularly pissed off today because, well, Donald Trump just went to his hometown of Scranton, Pennsylvania, and just absolutely mobbed Joe Biden. Listen to this. This is in Joe Biden's hometown. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes. No wonder Joe Biden is so pissed off. Well, a very, very big hello, Pennsylvania. Yes. The absolute aura of Donald Trump. Check out this TikTok. Change it, damn thing. Make America great again. Vote Trump. Nobody makes the case against lying Kamala Harris better than Kamala herself. Take a look. Would you have done something differently during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind. <laughs> Donald Trump dancing on stage. Vivek, Alina Haba, they just did a blitz through Pennsylvania. This is amazing. Donald Trump doing the plane mogging again after disastrous media blitz where she beclowned herself. Kamala Harris is scurrying away on her plane only to be overshadowed and cucked by Trump Force One. Look at this. This is from Donald Trump. Spokesperson Stephen Chung. Look at that. Cucked by Trump Force One. Amazing. The energy is amazing. Uh, really quickly here. Let's jump to some of the polling. Uh, the reason why Joe Biden is so pissed off at the White House is because all of the polls now show that the the game is up. Joe Biden continually said, uh, I see no polling that says Kamala Harris is going to do better than me against Donald Trump. Joe Biden didn't poll well against Donald Trump. But, I mean, this is arguably worse than where Joe Biden was. This is Donald Trump winning all swing states. This is what the electoral map is looking like with the new polling. Donald Trump, well, this looks like us going to bed at nine o'clock on election night. Donald Trump, 300 electoral votes. Donald Trump is crushing in the smart money markets. Look at this, up over 10 points in the betting markets. Swing state polling pushes Trump over 280 vote electoral votes in, into presidency. The most recent 
battleground polls from McLaughlin, one of the most respected polls in the world, has Trump winning Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan, Georgia, Arizona, Nevada, North Carolina. It's over. Ball game, baby. Libs are now starting to cope and seethe, exactly as predicted. She starts slipping behind. The answer is obvious. Go more populist. But there's not a populist in the building to tell them. Oh, yeah. Axios saying, there's growing worry among Democrats that Harris seems stuck, even sliding, after a strong start to her young presidential campaign. Media blitz, heavily, heavy spending, and largely favorable coverage don't seem to be moving the needle, Democrats say. Kamala Harris is slipping in all swing states. Donald Trump taking the lead in Wisconsin. Donald Trump taking the lead in Michigan. Donald Trump taking the lead in Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah, baby. Donald Trump spending a lot of time in Pennsylvania. Emerson College polling. These are left-wing polling showing Donald Trump crushing Kamala Harris in the Electoral College. Donald Trump surging with Hispanic voters. Look at this headline from Fortune. Trump's odds have surged over the past two weeks. He now holds a two-vote Electoral College lead, many showing Donald Trump winning potentially the national vote, the popular vote. If Donald Trump wins the popular vote, do you realize that there is actually zero chance that Kamala Harris wins the election if Donald Trump wins the popular vote? Incredible. Trump carrying all swing states, according to McLaughlin. All right. So this is Trump surging to a 13-point lead in the top election indicator. This is the energy with which Donald Trump went to Pennsylvania and went to Joe Biden's hometown to troll Joe Biden on the road. He brought with him Vivek Ramaswamy backstage in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Strong move for President Biden to come here to Biden's hometown. This is Vivek Ramaswamy posing with uh, members of the police force there in Scranton uh, in a gym. And he, here's Vivek working out in the gym. <laughs> here's Vivek's speech at the rally. And right now, more than ever, we need a commander in chief who will lead us to victory in that war. That man is the 45th and your next 47th president of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. USA. If you want to seal the border, vote Trump. If you want to grow the economy, vote Trump. If you want to restore law and order in this country, vote Trump. If you want to stay out of World War III in this country, vote Trump. If you want to revive our national identity in this country, vote Trump. If you want to make America great again, vote Trump. Look at the people in Joe Biden's hometown. Look at this. This is in Scranton, Pennsylvania, getting ready to vote for Trump, Joe Biden's hometown. If we win Pennsylvania, that's the ball game. campaigning with President Trump across Pennsylvania, uh, starting in Scranton and finishing in Reading. America first all the way, says Vivek. Look at these lines. Again, this is in Joe Biden's hometown. Look at that. Oh, man, it's inspiring. Inspiring. Deep blue Scranton, Pennsylvania, massive lines for President Trump. What do they get to see? Oh, yeah, they got to see Donald Trump at his best at this rally. Check it out. And as you know, early voting is underway. So when the polls open tomorrow, we're here. We're finally here. And, you know, we're way up in your I want to say, look, let's do it this way. The main thing is to win. Let's say we're one point down. I don't want to tell you we're actually up. But I want to say we're one point down. Everybody get to the polls so we get these horrible politicians out of there. We want to get rid of them. No, we're actually up in the polls in Pennsylvania, in Michigan, in uh, Arizona just came out. We're up in Arizona very substantially. We're way up in the polls and uh, the only place we're down, New York Times is a headline that we're down a little bit, but they're the, the only poll Every poll, you got to see these polls, they're the best polls. New York Times is, we call it the failing New York Times. It's fake news. These people are sick. You remember in 2016, they had to do an editorial apologizing to their readers because they said, he's going to lose, he's going to lose. I swear he's going to lose. And then I won and they lost thousands and thousands of, I love that, gonna happen again. No. 
I, get, I came on today to the plane, and Susie and everybody says, Sir, you're up in this poll, you're up in this poll, you're up in this poll, you're up in every poll. And then I picked up the New York Times, it said, I'm losing by a whisker. They hope. They hope. No, they're fake news. You know, they're all fake news, these people. They're totally crooked. They're so crooked. They're the enemy of the people. They are. They are the enemy of the people. So get everyone you know and vote immediately, because that's the only one that counts, you know? November 5th, that's called our big poll. That's the real poll, right? And they're going to cheat like hell and everything else. You know, if they only cheat a lot, we're in great shape. But if they cheat in record-setting numbers, which they're capable of doing, I can't promise. But they are, they are cheaters. That's the way they do. When they have their first meetings, they, their first, our first meeting is, where would be a good place to go? How about Scranton? You know what their first meeting is? Their first meeting is, how do we cheat? How do we cheat? That's all they, because, you know, when you think about it, who can win with high taxes, open borders, allowing murderers to come in? You saw that last week. 13,099 murderers allowed to come in through them. Over three and a half, 13, many of them have murdered more than one person. Is there anybody in the audience that's in that group, please? Because if they are, we want to get the hell out of here or get him out of here. If we win Pennsylvania, we win the whole thing. It's very simple. And uh, no, no coverage of the events yesterday in Pennsylvania would be a complete without our girl, Alina Haba, bringing it home and bring in the fire. turn Pennsylvania red? It most certainly looks red to me right now. What a good group, you guys. We have seen the beautiful Kamala Harris for 1,400 days in the White House. And the woman cannot articulate for us what her policies are. And that's because she doesn't have any. No, I should take that back. She's now adopting my favorite president's policies. She is anti-fracking. She has not done well for our economy. She has opened our borders. She is soft on crime. And her cohort wants to put tampons in boys' bathrooms. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am a MAGA woman with babies, and that ain't happening. So where I come from, when you fail at your job for 1,400 days, you don't get another 1,460 days. And if you ever have any doubts about her position on her performance, her review on The View yesterday, she said she wouldn't change a damn thing. Yeah. Well, thank you for saying so, Kamala. But the American people decide who gets promoted. And you are not getting promoted. You are fired. Let's win. God bless you all. Let's get Trump in. Make sure you vote.